Hello and welcome to the One Stop Co-op Shop, your one stop for co-op news and playthroughs. And today we are playing through Marvel Champions. What's up, Mary? Oh, not much. Looking forward to playing some X-Men. Yes, yes. So first day of X-Men. And let me tell you, I have played a lot of X-Men. Uh, <laughs> I have played <laughs> all four champions so far. Um, so Phoenix, Colossus, the four that came out today, uh, Phoenix, Colossus, Cyclops and uh, Kitty Pride uh, Shadow Cat is the other one. So yes, I've played all of them, but I've not really played through the campaign. I played a little bit of the campaign. Um, I played the first mission, Sabretooth, twice at Gen Con, and then I played like one turn of it with my wife this morning. But I have, beside that, played none of the new campaign. So I am super excited to get into it tonight. Yeah, I'm I'm excited to try. I've been messing around with the Sabretooth and realized that I was playing it wrong <laughs> earlier today. It's not... It, uh, well, I mean, we'll talk about this in our post-stream discussion, but it is not the easiest first mission to play. That is for sure. I mean... Oh, no. Yeah. It's so, not. So it's interesting because... And again, we'll talk about it more in our post-stream discussion, but I'm like, you know what? I, I talked to my wife and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to throw this out there. Like, I get new Marvel Champions stuff every, you know, twice a year, three times a year, whatever. Like, these big campaign boxes. And I just bury myself in the basement and, like, you know, end up playing through it. And, like, really, like, it's something I look forward to. I said, do you want to do it with me this time? Like, you know, <laughs> just, <laughs> just like, you know, share in the, the excitement and joy that I get when something new like this comes out. And she agreed to do it, so I'm going to certainly be playing through it at a slower pace than I normally would, because honestly, I would have been done two or three missions, even with all the recording I did, probably. But, uh, yeah, no, and I'm like, oh yeah, and this and this. She's like, how do you win? How do you lose? And I'm like, well, normally it's different. <laughs> I was like, but, yeah, so just trying to explain to her, um, yeah, it, it's it's a little bit different. That is for sure. Um, yeah, I... I did not realize I was supposed to flip the first, um, like the the first scheme, after after you get rid of the side scheme. Ah, yes. With, and we, so I'm like, I'm like, I'm like what do I do? Got, <laughs> yeah, he's like constantly dying. I'm like, how am I supposed to get past this? Yes. Well, it definitely, yeah, yeah. You don't keep doing two damage to three damage a turn and not being able to heal. That is for sure. Um, but we'll get into all that. We're not going to get through all the mechanics, but we'll talk a little bit about the campaign. Um, so we are going to play this as if we were playing a campaign. So one of the new things they have in here are these campaign roles. And a role is made up of a couple of aspects, like Brawler, which is what Mary chose, is aggression and protection. And I chose Commander, which is aggression and leadership. And basically what it is that you get these five cards, you shuffle them, and take one of them for each mission. Now, you don't just automatically get it. You do have to defeat a side scheme per mission to get it. So that's what this side scheme is. And when you defeat the side scheme, you also put a random Days of Future Past card in the deck. Um, so that is the getting better and getting worse scenario. Now, you cannot carry these from mission to mission. You just have to use it this mission. So the one you have is Coupe de Gras, which is when you attack, this attack deals three additional damage and gains overkill. And then you remove it from the game. Mine is uh, generate two wild resources for an attack or tactic event, ready an ally, and heal two damage from it. And then, re that's pretty darn good, actually. <laughs> I didn't realize how good mine was. Uh, I thought So, uh, yeah. But they're random, and they're going to be some that are better and worse, I'm assuming, but whatever. Also, when you deck build, we did not deck build, we're just using the pre-cons tonight. But when you deck build using this, you can actually pull a card out of your chosen aspect. So if you're a brawler, you can take an aggression or protection card and add it to your deck. I haven't done this yet because I'm also playing pre-cons with my wife. But there's a lot of rules of, of how you do that um, there. I would assume if you're doing an expert campaign, you'd probably want to do it. Alrighty, but before we get started, let's get into the theme of the game, because I love to do that when we're first playing through a campaign. So we're in Washington, D.C. 
The mutant menace is a clear and present danger to these United States. Magneto and his brotherhood have already targeted several mutant registration sites. That is why I support the Sentinel program. Uh, I'd like to show this Joker just how dangerous I am. Easy, comrade. We must be showing him humans and mutants can live together. I, that wasn't really Russian. I don't know what that was. That was... <laughs> That, that, that was a terrible Russian <laughs> accent. That's fine. Uh, hey, Meatbag, the Brotherhood is here for you. That maniac is going to kill him. Hurry, X-Men, you must rescue Senator Kelly. So Senator Kelly's the guy up here who's basically saying we need to get rid of mutants. Uh, but if you know anything about the X-Men, Professor X is still like, you know, peace loving and all that. So he's still like, no, we got to rescue him. So that is our goal. So Sabretooth has snuck in and is trying to kill Robert Kelly over here. And our goal is to protect him. As I was saying earlier, it is not a normal win or lose scenario. Oh, the villain has zero health. Well, that's that'll be really easy to win. Um, so the goal is still <laughs> to defeat the villain, uh, take their hit points down to zero. But you don't lose by adding threat, at least not at the very beginning of the game. You lose if Robert Kelly dies. So let's look at a couple of things that happen. Well, first of all, Sabretooth, pain in the butt to kill. One of the hardest uh, first villains, I think, as far as like life goes. Because force response, after Sabretooth activates against you, discard the top card of the encounter deck and heal damage from Sabretooth equal to the number of boost icons. So... Attacking twice a turn, once against each of us, will heal twice a turn. Uh, every time they activate. And if you draw a card that says they attack or thwart or whatever, you got to do it again. So, yeah, he heals up the entire time. So, it's not worth, like, plinking damage on. You kind of have to do it all or nothing. Uh, then we got stuck by Sabretooth. Force response. After resolving prep one of the villain phase, and you'll notice there is no lose condition here for number of threat. Um, deal two damage to Robert Kelly. Three damage instead if there are at least six threat per person on the main scheme. So that's the negative is it accelerates by one damage per turn. But Robert Kelly only has nine life. So it's not like uh, it's not like he's going to live very long if you uh, mess around too much. So the way you rescue him is you got to find the senator by removing all the threat from his little side scheme over here. And you will help with that, I am sure, as Colossus with your one thwarting. Yes, my whole one thwarting. Yes. Um, yeah, so uh, when Rob while Robert Kelly is attached to find the center, treat his tech box as if it were blank. So basically, you can't do anything. Uh, it can't be healed by player cards and effects and cannot have upgrades attached. Uh, when defeated, the first player detaches Robert Kelly from this scheme, takes control of him, advance the main scheme to 2A, and flip this card and place it next to the main scheme. So we'll figure out what the next part is after we defeat it, but we cannot remove threat from the main scheme because exclamation mark. Uh, what is that crisis token and then because we're doing a campaign we also have frightened police uh in the midst of the chaos the police have confused the x-men with the enemy when defeated shuffle the top card of the future uh, past deck into the encounter card and flip this card and put metro pd into play so we're gonna get metro pd if we get rid of this but we also put a future past card into the future when we do that <laughs> uh all right so um do you want to go first or you want me to go first um i will let you go first okay i will take the first player token we will go ahead and shuffle up and draw up so if you don't know anything about phoenix set up you put your phoenix force upgrade into play and you're restrained uh place four power unit counters on it so they got four power uh basically after making a basic recovery so after healing place a power counter on phoenix force which is nice and then on this side i got hero resource remove one power counter from it to generate a uh wild resource limit once per phase so wild resources and when i heal i get them back i have three thwart one attack two defense permanent uh i have this restrained force response after the last counter is removed from this flip this card in which case i become unleashed and i get Minus two thwart, so I go down to one thwart, plus two attack, so I get three attack. Uh, and then after there are four more counters on the card, I, I become restrained again. Let me tell you something. Doesn't seem that bad, and in fact, there's a lot of co my cards that are so much better if I am unleashed. But, but, this is a big but, my um, 
what's that card called that uh, you draw and it's like you usually oh, have to flip over and exhaust? Obligation. Yeah, my obligation is bullcrap. My obligation, if I am not restrained, if I am uh, unleashed, brings out my nemesis, who is maybe the worst nemesis I've ever seen. I don't know if you've seen Dark Phoenix, <laughs> but it is awful. And it also introduces a second loss condition, consume the world as well. So it brings out Dark Phoenix and like the second loss condition to the game. It's awful. So she, <laughs> she reminds me a lot of uh of uh what's his name? Um Star Lord, where like you think you're doing you like you're so cool. You do all this cool stuff, it's like, oh yeah, my my character's super powerful. And then something goes wrong and it goes real wrong real fast. And there's no <laughs> there's no turning back. So, yeah, Shadows of the Past for Phoenix is just awful. It's just literally maybe the worst thing in the game. Uh, Shadows of the Past is already <laughs> awful. For Phoenix, I think it might be worse. Yeah. All right. And then Colossus plays around with Tough. I just played him on the stream earlier today. The reason I put so much explaining into uh, Phoenix is I haven't played her yet. Well, I played her. I've recorded it, but it'll go up on the main channel first thing in the morning tomorrow. Still have to edit it tonight after we're done here. So, uh, but yeah, he plays around with tough. He gets tough. He can spend tough to do cool stuff. So that is his shtick. All right, let me go ahead and draw my six cards. And actually, you've had a chance to look at yours. So why don't you go ahead and go first? Boom, executive decision. Oh, <laughs> oh wait, we have All to, right. we have to, oh, did you already mulligan and everything? Yep. Oh, man, you're just better than I am. All right, so hold on. I do need to look for a card, though. Ooh, I got Cyclops and Marvel Girl. Oh, there we go. Have you seen this card, by the way? Uh, it's like a protection justice card. When yes. the villain schemes, this activation removes threat instead of placing it. It's <laughs> really good. It's really expensive, but holy moly, is that good. Um, I don't think I can afford Cyclops, can I? I would like to afford Cyclops, so I'm I'm gonna keep him in my hand. Oh, uh, I'm supposed to give a shout out to my dad. <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> Who's your dad? Scott. He's watching the stream. I don't know. He's not. He's probably not in the in the comments. But that's okay. But, Welcome, but... Scott. Thank you for joining us. Mary is awesome. We love having her on our streams. So, uh, yeah, thanks for joining us. And uh, I see Victor Von Doom's out there. And uh, is he the only one that has talked? Uh, yeah, so far. All right. Well, I mean, there's way more people than that out there. But uh, <laughs> he, apparently he's making fun of Nine Down, who is abducted by his girlfriend tonight. So. And, yeah. And, <laughs> so you all are the normal chatty folks. So it may be quiet out there in the uh, in the chat tonight because uh, Victor has nobody to talk to because you're here joining me. Uh, so there's that. Yeah. But I'm trying to keep tabs on the, um, on the chat. Yeah. It's, it's not oh. easy, right? When you're also trying to, uh, to play. Yeah, that's true. Also, my mom is watching. Oh, well, welcome. Welcome <laughs> so. Mary's mom. So hi mom. Hi dad. Awesome. Uh, so Victor says, I took up Spider-Ham against the Sentinels. He handled them fine. The deck I used with him is beastly. Also, great for the silliness for mutant hunting robots defeated by a cartoon pig. Nice. <laughs> so Victor is uh, also singing, all by myself. Don't want to be. <laughs> I, I would have gone with, I'm so lonely. <laughs> Nice. I, I like it. See, Terrence has never once sung in all the years. That's it. Terrence is replaced. We have another singer. Um, all right, Mary. So I see you put out Pure's Studio, which um, yep. you exhaust it to discard cards from your deck until you get a Colossus card. By the way, holy moly, you have lots of Colossus cards. Yeah, I don't know how, but I ended up... Did you shuffle? Not did a bad I shuffle? Starting hand. I did. I did shuffle. Okay. All right. 
But yeah, I am going to do that. And oh, Wow, that. there was another Colossus card still in your deck. I'm like, oh man, you're going to deck yourself <laughs> like trying to find a card. <laughs> okay, let's see. Well, I definitely need to get out Titanium Muscles because that is going to give me resources. So... Yes, it's such a good card. Plus one attack and exhaust to generate a resource for each tough status. Mm -hmm. And again, you can have up to two with... Um, with uh what's his name uh i can't remember his name colossus with colossus yeah do you know how to pronounce his first name fyodor oh okay well that was just that just came right out i, I tried to say it my name is peter you think i'd be able to figure it out there most of the letters are the same but but no i could not figure it out at all i like yeah I, I, I have a little bit of experience in polish which is very close to russian so got it nice so Arden wants yeah. to know what happened to Terrence tonight. He abandoned us to play in Con of the Rings, which is a uh, Lord of the Rings LCG uh, thing similar to Con of Heroes. So he's playing Lord of the Rings LCG with Colin, and I don't think Steve's there. I think Barron's there, Colin's there. Um, I don't know who else is there, but a lot of names you know from the One Stop Co-op Shop family have decided to uh, to go to that. Oh, I wish I could be there too, but I'm happy to be here. So I mean, it's an inferior game. Let's be honest. We have mutants. <laughs> that is true. All right, Mary, what do you All want right. to do? Oh, you got both All of your right, cards. I'm... You got your plus thorny card too. Yeah. So that'll help a little bit. Um, but I'm flipping up to Colossus, and then I will. Let's see. So when you flip up, you do get a tough status card. Come on, tough. Oh, there we go. And so then I'm spending armored up, and ooh, this is hard. I know. Mm. I had the same choice earlier, and I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to have to drop organic steel yep. so that I can get out titanium muscles. Yep. And then... Um, I'm going to use Bulletproof Protector. Um, so I'll spend the tough status to give myself two tough status cards. So yep. I get another tough status. And Colossus, the only one in the game that can have more than one tough status, which is kind of cool. And then just to give us a little bit of breathing room starting out, I'm going to play Steel Fist. Oh, you're not putting in uh, Iron Will, huh? Uh, no, I'm going to stun and confuse. I mean, Juice. that seems good. All right, so five damage, stunned and confused. Yep. Which kind of deals with the issue you have with Sabretooth, which is the self-healing issue. Yeah. In fact, if I never flip up, which seems dumb, but if I don't, then... He would not heal at all this turn. Yeah. Uh, all right, and then you you still have plus one attack, so I assume you're attacking for three then. Yep. All right. Well, you just keep doing that attacky thing. You know what I said about not doing damage to him? Well, forget that noise. You're just going to beat him down from turn one. I love it. Love it. Um, and I am going to do nothing of the sort. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and play the White Hot Room which might be the last time I do use it this entire game. Uh, I'm not going to heal two damage. I'm going to put a counter on this, although, honestly, I'm a little sad to have counters on it because I like it to go away. But uh, when you be defeated, remove this card from the game. Ready your identity. I don't think I'm going to be defeated with you in the game. <laughs> villain schemes do <laughs> four damage to the villain. Not going to scheme. Downtime I don't need. So, really, it's just Cyclops that I want to play. Uh, all right, so let me flip up. Uh, I'll remove a power counter. Maybe I hold on to Rise from the Ashes. I mean, it's not bad to have a if you die, don't die card. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm going to play Cyclops using one of my power counter. Uh, I can only do it once per turn, sadly. But then spend one, two other resources to put Cyclops into play. Cyclops gives me two more power counters. Of course, when Cyclops goes away, I lose two power counters. He's really good for like getting you back to your good form. Or, like, if you don't let him die until you're, like, down to zero counters, basically, then you don't lose the counters he gave you. 
But they also get you up to six, which is hard to get rid of those counters. So let's be honest. Uh, I'm going to scheme for three. What do you think? Should I get the police on our side first? We don't need to rescue the senator. Why would we do that? We're going to take care of the police over here. Uh, they're frightened. All right. I don't, I, I, want, I don't want them to be frightened anymore. And then, what do you think? You want me to attack or you want me to start working on the senator? With uh, Cyclops. Um, He's a 2-2. Two -two. doesn't really matter. I'm going to do three next turn, so there's no reason to okay. poke um, at that. Well, we should probably work on getting the senator out from under here because he's going to keep taking damage every turn. No, fine. We'll rescue the stupid senator. <laughs> he makes me mad. He said not nice yeah. things about us mutants. Look at us both holding yeah. cards after turn one. Huh. That just happened. <laughs> just one. Just one. All right. So let's go ahead and ready up. I mean, you only draw <laughs> up to four. So, uh, And I draw four cards myself to get up to five. Ooh, I have Cerebro, which will be good for finding other mutants. Ooh, telekinetic attack. Yeah, if I'm unleashed, it's actually really good. When I'm not unleashed, it's a little sad. Play only if you have Psychic uh, Thwart when the villain schemes. Oh, so this is the one that removes threat instead of uh, adding it. So I might... Oh, the villain's not going to scheme, though. Boo. All right. So getting to the villain's turn, we do add two threats to the main scheme. It's not at six per player yet, so we're only going to add two damage to the senator. We'll have his damage up here because it's kind of an important thing. We'll make it bigger. He is going to get punched in the face by Sabretooth. <laughs> Sabretooth. All right, so you were first player, so he is stunned. Sabretooth does not attack you, but Sabretooth does attack me. Um, you do anything about that? or I, I'm okay you just taking block? it. Uh, well, you don't have a way to get more tough status cards, so actually, I'll just take it. I don't mind flipping down, because he's got it confused on him, right? So Yeah. I'm actually okay, so I'm just going to take a punch to my face. I take two damage, plus zero I might not even need to flip down for that nonsense. Uh, but then he does heal himself. So you got two icons there. So heals for two. Uh. I mean, it's going to keep happening. Like, that's the thing. <laughs> uh, all right. So why don't you go ahead and take your card, and then I'll take mine. There we go. By the way, all I right. have a new favorite good boy. It might not be Lockjaw anymore. Oh, who is it? Oh, the the dragon? It's my dragon, yeah. Such a... I mean, only one character can use it because it's a signature ally, unfortunately. But I, I may have to play uh, Shadowcat more just because, you know, dragon. <laughs> All right, so he's attacking me again. Okay. Tisk tisk. Uh, are you just going to take right. it with your tough? Yeah. I mean, I guess I could theoretically block for you, but that seems stupid. <laughs> like, yeah. That seems counterintuitive. So maybe you'll be the one to flip down. So boost for three. So that's a total of five damage. And it actually, doesn't he get more? Plus one attack? Um, oh, no. He has sustained damage. Nope, so. He has. Yep. All right. So it's five. But unfortunately, because he attacked, he also heals for two more. Went, went. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> so annoying. I'm doing all the work I did. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Good news. My obligation came out early, which is good because I am not unleashed. So, one revealed. So, this is my obligation. If you have unleashed trait, search the encounter deck, discard pile, and set aside area for Dark Phoenix and reveal her. Then remove Burning Hunger from the game. Yeah, great. It's already done its damage at that point. Uh, if you have the restrained trait, remove one power counter from Phoenix Force and this card gains Surge. So, I do lose a power counter here. But, uh, and, I, and I get a surge. But it's better than that other bullcrap going off. Uh, Saber yeah. 2 strikes. Deal one damage to Robert Kelly. You may exhaust your hero to prevent this. Nah, Robert's fine. He's good. You take another hit. He's fine. He's fine. He has nine life. Like, we got two more <laughs> turns of this. He'll be fine. And there's eight threat here. Totally fine. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Gonna get a punch in the face. Uh, that's not the song. All right. Uh, <laughs> all right. So I am first player. Look, Robert Kelly needs to be smacked out a little bit. 
I mean, come on. We can't just let him, like, you know, Robert Kelly it up. Uh, do you want to go down or you want me to go down? Mm. Um, you get tough. You can. And six cards. I don't need to go down. I mean, the only benefit is Cerebro is kind of nice, but, like, I don't really need to. I feel like one of us should, though. Okay. Yeah, I'll flip down. That way I can get my toughs back. All right. Should I do telekinetic attack? Should we just, like, start doing some punchies in the face? All right. Why not? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to spend one there. My psychic manipulation. Where do I hold psychic manipulation? That's such a good card. Uh, all right. I'll spend this, which doesn't really do anything in this situation. Ah, rise from the ashes. So that's a total of three to do my telekinetic attack, which does seven damage, which seems not terrible. I mean, got got him down to 15. That's almost half. If he wouldn't have healed twice, it would have been way better. Uh, guess what? Yeah. I, I'm still putting Cerebro in, though, so forget it. I'm not holding on to that card. Uh, so Cerebro... Uh, if you're Alter Ego, you can search for an ally in your deck and add it to your hand. So it's just a free... Oh, you have to be... You have to be a mutant to play it. Yep. Oh. I cannot play it. Because I am on the wrong side. So I'm flipping down, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't need to flip down. Uh, do I discard Cerebro? Thanks for pointing that out, Mary. What are you, Brant tonight? What is going on here? <laughs> Are you guys all against me? Uh, all right. So I'm going to take three off of this. And police is gone. But we do have to take a day of future pass card. Shuffle it into our deck. And uh, so now we have this. We have the Metro P PD. Which I don't know why it's sideways. But whatever. It's a permanent. First player controls Metro PD. Which is me right now. Exhaust it and choose to either deal a damage or remove a threat. I will remove a threat. And then Cyclops will remove two more threat. I mean, we could technically both be down, right? Yeah. Is there a negative to us both being down? I mean, who cares about threat on this main scheme? Until it gets to six per player. Like, then, I mean, even then, as long as we beat that, like, we're beating this next turn, right? It's not getting to six per right. player this turn. Like, by the time he attacks. So who cares? Yeah. Forget it. We're both flipping down. I'm putting Cerebro in. It's a thing. I'm going to use my white hot room to heal myself for two. Bink, bink. And I got Cerebro. Oh, what's this? Generate two resources for an attack or tactic event. Ready an ally and heal, heal two damage from it. Huh. So I would love to play an attack or tactic event at some point. I just did this turn. Might have, should have thought about that to heal up Cyclops. Uh, it's fine. Nothing to see here. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully next turn I get a, a, an attack, I, a card I could play. All right, Mary, it's up to you. What are you doing? Okay. Uh, so I'm going to use... <laughs> Brant says flip, flip, flip. There's Brant. Let the senator <laughs> sweat a little before you rescue him. I mean... <laughs> I'm in the same mindset. Like, I totally agree. All right, so I get my thwarting card out. Seems good. Uh, do I punch or thwart? Oh, you punch. You always punch. You, you've got the thwart taken care of? Yeah, I mean, I got five between myself and uh, Cyclops next turn. Right. right, so he'll do three damage. Look at that. Who would have thought... Sabretooth, less than half life already uh, on his first side. Let's let's keep this in perspective. <laughs> so then I will slip down. All right. I assume you're not going to Pedro or, or, or I'm sorry, not Pedro, whatever the name is. Uh, Piotr. Piotr. Uh, no. Uh, should I? I don't I mean, it'll know. help me get through my deck a little faster. I mean, did you already yeah. get rid of your punchy punch cards? Like, those are the best cards. Ooh. Oh, Def there we go. Definitely helping you get through your deck. <laughs> yeah. 
Now you can change the hero form when the villain activates against you. So yeah. That's, that's an interesting choice. I don't know if it's a good choice. Um, <laughs> but it's a choice. It's a choice you can make. I think yeah. later in the game it's probably a good choice, like to defend for other people, but whatever. All right, so let's ready up and draw up. Uh, you decide if you're discarding or not first. Ooh, mind control. Let's get some enemies out. Ooh, I got a telekinetic attack too. Oh, it's game time. Game time. Ooh, and I can boost up Cyclops as well, which makes me happy. All right. Oh, let's see. Ooh, I'm going to have a big attack this next turn. Sweet. Well, we, we might flip. I mean, we almost definitely will because I have a seven attack coming, Um, which seems good. Unless I mind control one of his uh, allies. Like, I hope he comes up with a really big non-elite ally. That would make me super happy. All right. Uh, so let the center. Uh, so Brant also says Russian, not Mexican, Peter. Both your name, wait, both your name, FYI? I don't know what both your name, FYI. Jean Grey? What? <laughs> I'm confused. Or is he trying to say Pyotr? Pyotr? Pyotr. Game time is Cyclops deck. I, I don't even know. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on here. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> we're going to add two thread here, and then he's going to attack for two. So that goes up to five. And then... He is going to try to scheme against me, but he's confused. And that is just what happens. And then he's going to scheme against you for one plus a boost of one for two. I mean, honestly, I don't even know why we bother not staying. We, we should just stay down the entire game. Like, he's <laughs> so wimpy with that. Uh, all right, but is going to heal still. Um, okay, so we don't activate the star for this heal. We just activate, right. I believe it's just the boost icons. Yep, so yep. it's only one boost icon. So heals for one. Eh, half dead still. All right, so That's I'm okay. going to draw. Did somebody say draw? Uh, infiltration. Uh, shapeshifter. When revealed, shuffle this card into your deck. This card gains surge. Okay, force response. After this card enters your hand, discard... Wait, enters your hand, discard an ally or support you control... You may discard this card from your hand at the end of the player phase like any other card. Oh, it's I gotta enter my hand now. This card's way too big. <laughs> it's, 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 it's like a... Oh, wait a minute. There we we actually have this up here. Hold on, where is this? But ink. But ink. There we go. That's handy. Yes. Yes. That that is way better than what I was just trying to do, which I'm not even sure what I was trying to do. Um, all right, so go ahead and what's yours? Oh, uh, didn't that surge? Would you stop making me draw more cards, Brant? I'm sorry. The villain scheme, <laughs> see what happens? He got angry because they said, I don't care about the villain scheming, and he added two more threat, wah, and then healed himself for one more, which actually makes me a little sad. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Oh no, now he gets his claws. So we have to spend one of each resource to discard this card. It's just plus one attack, right? That's not great. Mm -hmm. I gotta be honest, I don't love plus one attack. Oh, any piercing, which is really bad for you. <laughs> yes, that is awful for me. <laughs> Remember when I said it's just plus one attack? I lied. <laughs> All right, I can get rid of it. It's fine. I think. Yeah. I think I can get rid of it, too. Well, let me know. If you don't get rid of it, I'll get rid of it. Ah. I, uh... It's fine. I'll pull it over. Why are my buttons not working correctly? Because you're not worthy. It's Mjolnir. <laughs> it only comes to those that are worthy. Ooh. Let's see. Okay, so... Don't forget you have PA Tours... Uh, studio if you want as well yeah before you All right. have to make any choices shadow oh, cat well looky there 
changes the equation. Remember how I said I could pay for getting rid of that? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> yeah, now I, I kind of want to get her out. Well, I'm going to Cerebro while you are doing that. Um, while you're figuring out what you want to do. Do I not have an ally? Oh, let's see. I have Banshee. So tough. Um, then I'm gonna use armor up to play to pay for perseverance because I just flipped, so I get another tough card. Um, I'm gonna use the resources from that. How did you get a second tough card? Because uh, I played Perseverance. Oh, nice. Yep. Um, so I get out Shadow Cat. Gosh, two free resources. So good. <laughs> but you don't have one of uh, each now, unless you wanted to keep this one in your hand. Oh, yeah, that is true. Oh, mm. plus six attack. No, no, no. You're, you're, yeah. you're doing that. No, no, no. Forget, forget uh, getting rid of that wimpy piercing stuff <laughs> i'll do it yeah so yeah i'm gonna do that so i get a nine attack seems good um i have to discard a tough to do that though don't forget to draw a card when you do that but i get yep i do get to draw a card it seems good. oh look at that oh i can get polaris out too yes yes you can <laughs> <laughs> so that's awesome oh did you already take Yes. I did take okay. the nine off. Yep. All right. Uh, so then I'm gonna energy and protect protective training, and put Polaris out. Don't you wish you could do one more damage right now? <laughs> I see your four damage when he's got five health. Hey, guess what? I could attack. I have one attack. <laughs> it would it would not be wasted. <laughs> I'm not doing that though. I am gonna get rid of this. I only have. Three attack. Three. So two and then. No, no, no. One I'm turn. saying Shadow Cat and Polaris. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that would be nice. Um, okay, but she did come out, so I get another tough status card. So I'm gonna put that there. Um, and then doesn't yeah, have to be you, will... greedy Colossus. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that piercing piercing on there just so you have to get rid of both of them all at once. <laughs> One attack, boom, gone. Oh, bots are back. Bots are back. All right, I'm gonna take care of the bots while you are doing your thing. Man, how do they get in? Well, they subscribe. So, I mean, the only good news with that is um. We got another subscriber, so welcome, <laughs> 69mega.com. <laughs> uh, well, it's certainly a better name than uh, some of the previous ones. Yes, yes. Well, it's weird because, like, it's been a long time since we've had a bot. Um, so, I mean, the funny part is I guess they don't realize that the comments get deleted anyway. Yeah. So, there's that. Uh, although I just gave him some airtime, I could delete my comment there as well if I really wanted to. But eh, hey, it's another viewer. It's another. You know what? Every, all subscribers welcome. <laughs> if you have bots, bring them on. <laughs> we'll, we'll take your your needy, your homeless. You know, we're we're not at the Brotherhood of Mutants. We are not a uh, we are not a uh, picky here. Uh, who we take in our ex, uh, you know, to be part of the X Men. All right, uh, so I attack for four. So you really are going to attack the boss? All right. Yeah. All right. And then that's it? Yep, that's all I can do. I mean, that's not all. That's pretty darn good. All right, so I'm going to use Banshee as one of my three resources. I'm going to use Mutant Peacekeepers as another one. And then I will use Swift Retribution as a third one. Oh, I got to be in hero form, though. Uh, what can I do on this side? Oh, I can do this. I'll give myself another counter, which means I'll never, ever get unrestrained. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. 
flipping over. Uh, so I spent the three resources to get rid of... Oh, don't forget, you got this. By the way, you could oh. have the Metro PD kill Sabretooth if you want to. Oh, do they... Oh, this is weird. Now, why is it sideways? <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, when when you're alting, you can hit Q and E to turn it. Pro tip. Uh. But yeah, I guess. Do we want to take out Sabretooth? Why not? What could go wrong? I mean, the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what happens. I don't remember. I haven't played him in a while. We, I mean, we do I, I'm need taking, to get rid of this. I'm taking six off. By the way, so it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess let's uh, let's drop saber tooth. All right. Boom. Now there's usually an advance button. I don't know what happened to it. We're, we're having technical issues here. That's fine. Uh, so two two toughness. Oh, that toughness is a son of a gun. Because I have a seven attack in my hand, which I guess I'm gonna just hold on to. Now that makes me sad. By the way. Um, force response after they, uh, he activates. Yeah, so he just gets plus one more scheming is all that really does. Uh, we're not to six per player, by the way. So stalked by Saber Tooth, still only doing two damage. Pfft, whatever. Maybe I don't even kill him. <laughs> no, I will do it. So, uh, 30. I mean, we could just kill him. We never have to rescue the senator from this first part of the scheme, I guess. <laughs> Literally, if we did 30 damage. I don't know. I'm sure there's a build to do that. Uh, I don't have it, obviously, but uh, I'm sure there is one. Uh, all right. So I'm yeah. going to spend one mission training to boost um, Cyclops here, which gives him... The important thing is two more hit points, um, but also gives him plus one thwart. So now he thwarts for three. Let's go ahead and do that to take three off of here and then I'll take the last three off so yay now the only problem is you're gonna have to defend you know that right yep all right because yeah your tough doesn't help anymore <laughs> well it's less helpful all right so when defeated the first player detaches Robert Kelly from this scheme your first player go for it mm -hmm. uh, takes control of him uh, and advances the main scheme to 2A, which is important. If you don't do that, bad things happen. Uh, and then flip this card and place it next to the main scheme. All right. So we got this flipped. It is now next to the main scheme. All right. So the main scheme says Sabretooth has wounded Senator Kelly and continues to hound him. One revealed to each player a face down encounter card. There we go. Uh, all right. And then we flippy flip this. Uh, get Robert Kelly to safety before Sabretooth finishes the job. When completed, defeat Robert Kelly. So we can't let this complete. Now it's nine per player. It does start on zero again, though. So we lose all that threat. Uh, if Robert Kelly leaves play, the players lose the game. So we cannot have Robert Kelly die. He is over here and giant. The first player controls Robert Kelly. He doesn't count against your ally limit and cannot have a player cards attached to him force interrupt when an enemy resolves an undefended attack against you deal the damage to robert kelly now he doesn't follow the main player i guess so it's just you right uh, oh no this does say the first player controls robert kelly I yeah lied. i lied all right so maybe i just flip down though to stop him from getting attacked when it's my turn um all right so we did all of that. Uh, we got zero threat anywhere on the board. We've got a fully topped off saber tooth, meaning um, that it doesn't matter what happens with him next turn because he can heal all he wants. It won't help him. Uh, so I am going to, what do you think? Stay up, flip down. Um... I handle threat pretty well. I don't necessarily want more count. Oh, no. I just started down this turn, obviously, because I used to. Yeah, you can't and... flip down. Yeah. I mean, I could, but it would be called cheating. Yeah. <laughs> I'd certainly do. And then it. Brant would yell at you. I mean, Brant yells at me anyway. <laughs> so. Uh, Brant says Star Lord leadership can blow Sabretooth up real fast. Three turns. What could go wrong? 
<laughs> all right. Uh, all right. So I'm going to get rid of mind control. Uh, I'm going to keep my telekinetic attack because I do want to use this uh, improvisation over here next turn to heal Cyclops as well as deal seven damage, which seems good. So yeah. let's ready up and draw up. I got lots of thwarting cards. My gosh. If the villain schemes deal... Oh, hopefully we draw in advance. I could do four damage. That would make me happy. So we're adding two threats. So now it's more similar to a normal game where um, you're trying to defeat the villain before um, you know before the scheme threats out. Oh, what does this say? Yeah. I probably should have read this. Robert Kelly cannot be healed by player cards or effects. Hero response after the hero defends against an attack from Sabretooth. Spend two resources from, of any type to ready your hero. Oh, so you can ready after you block. Only the player who co controls Robert Kelly can trigger this ability. Oh, so that means somebody else can't defend for you and ready themselves. But you could defend right. and ready yourself. Yeah, well, that and I've got these two allies sitting in front of me so oh you're gonna throw poor allies poor shadow cat and polaris oh <laughs> well i mean polaris has done her job so. i mean yes yeah she gave you tough <laughs> i mean saber tooth has tough it'd be nice to have somebody to plank that tough off all right uh so we did add two threat now saber tooth is going to activate against you uh so yep. polaris is going to defend it Ooh, star. Attach this card to Sabretooth. Uh, Sabretooth gains Stalwart. This character cannot be stunned or confused. I don't really care about that. I mean, That's I... awful. <laughs> oh, did you just get the card that stuns and confuses? Yes, I got Steel Fist in my hand. I am first player. I can get rid of it. One of each resource. Not a problem. I mean, it's kind of a problem, but it's not a problem. Uh, all right, so... Not a problem. Uh, we do have to flip one to heal, even though he doesn't technically heal, but it helps him go through his deck faster. Now he is going to attack me. I mean, I'm at full life. I'm good. Uh, plus two damage, so that's a total of four damage to my face. And he heals for whatever. It's fine. All right. Um, yep, you go ahead and do your encounter card. Why are you getting another one? Uh, remember, because we had to give ourselves encounter cards. Oh, boo. Um, when... So that, that isn't our normal encounter card. Yes. Why you got to remind me of bad stuff? <laughs> oh, no, not Mystique. Wow, that doesn't seem good. What does Mystique do? I can't attack the villain. Well, neither of us can attack the villain. Wait, she's tough. Players cannot attack the villain. Mystique's scheme is equal to the villain's scheme, and her attack is equal to the villain's attack. So she is pretending to be Sabretooth. Well, that is a thing. At least she doesn't have 30 health. I mean, nine's pretty terrible, though. All right, go ahead and flip uh, your next one. What could go wrong? One reveal, deal damage to Robert Kelly. You must exhaust your hero to prevent this. Ah, Robert's fine. Give him a damage. All right. All right. Uh, Sabretooth has worked himself into a frenzy in this hunt for Robert Kelly. You need to draw his attention away from the center. When defeated, Sabretooth attacks the player who defeated the scheme, even if that player is an alter... Well, no. What? Because I'm going to have Robert Kelly. I can't have him attacking me. That seems terrible. So that's just going to stay there for a turn, and they're gonna we're going to like it. Oh, here you go. You're homesick. Oh. It's not the worst thing in the world. All right. I guess I will flip down. The only negative and... is you already have your two toughs, but... Eh. Yeah. I'm going to lose a toughs. Why do you lose a tough? Because uh, he doesn't have that... Um, can have two toughs on the, his alter ego side. Oh. Interesting. I did not know that. All right. So you will get a tough back. Uh, when yeah, you lose so a I'll tough, do you get... Does that trigger? Do you get to draw a card? Uh, I don't know if it's just... That's a hero response. You're not hero anymore. 
so no. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right, but you did exhaust, so this is gone for evs. Yep. I haven't seen Shadow of the Past yet. By the way, I'm getting a little worried because Phoenix, like that that card is so bad for me. Uh, I mean, for us at at the point that I get it, it's so bad. All right. So yeah. Robert Kelly is with me now, as I am the mm -hmm. first player. So what's priority here? We got to get rid of Mystique, right? Um, yep. But I also want to get rid of that other thing. So let me do this. I'm going to have Cyclops attack Mystique. Get rid of Tough. Those are tough. Well, hold on. Let me double check something. Because if this has piercing, I'll feel like an idiot. No, it does not. Okay. Then I need to spend one of each resource. So clearly downtime will be my fist resource. Then... Uh, Swift Retribution will be my mental resource, and then I will use my wild resource from here. Uh, so that'll get rid of the piercing, which seems bad for you. Got to be honest. You oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Um, no. Well, it's fine. So LAPD will knock off Tough from here. Oh, okay. I was like, I, I knew I had a way to knock off... Uh, Where is the thing that was going to let me ready my hero? Oh, this thing. Here. Got it. All right. So I generate two wild resources for an attack. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing a telekinetic attack. I'm discarding this from the campaign to do that. Just because it's fun. Um, so do seven damage to an enemy. If you have unleashed, it does two additional damage. So it's seven here. But... What that card also does is it doesn't just generate two resources. It readies and heals an out two damage from an ally. So, but ink and down to two damage, which seems good. Now, Wait, so just seven, seven. Yes. But now Cyclops is going to do the last two. Oh, okay. So dead. There goes Mystique. Yes. I do one damage. So I got that going for me. Um, I could get rid of this, but that doesn't seem great for me. Yeah, that's. I mean, not good. there's no better time to do it though, because he's full health, right? So maybe mm -hmm. I just take it to my face. And well, you could flip down and heal. heal oh, that... but you still have to. Yeah. Oh no, because I got to defend for Kelly. So actually, I'm just going to defend this. That's what I'm going to do. All right, so I'm going to do this. Telepathic Trickery, remove four threat. I am not unleashed, so I'm not going to worry about that part of it. I'm just going to remove four threat, and I'm going to take an attack. It'll go on Kelly if it's undefended, so I will defend for two. Sabertooth attacks for two, plus one, and then attach this card to a minion and give it tough status. Well, we don't have minions, so all that worked out very well. It was plus one boost, though, so I take one damage. Now I'm going to flip down. All right. I'm going to use White Hot Room to heal me for two. I'm not going to use Cerebro to search for an ally because that seems stupid right now because there's no zero cost ally. Uh, so yeah, I'll be down though when Robert Kelly is where he is. Oh, wait a minute. I got rid of this, right? That was the whole point of that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So we are where we are. All right, uh, so I'll use Kyoto Studio. Oh, there we go. Victor says you're jinxing yourself calling out shadows. No, I just want to drink, Victor. That's all that is. <laughs> all right, I will flip up. So get another tough. Cinder said the police to get rid of tough. We did do that. Thank you. Um, we did it on Sabretooth. I mean, it could have been either one. Terrence just showed up. Just saying hi from Con of the Rings. Hey, Terrence. I can't stay hey, away. Hey, Terrence. I'm still jealous of you. <laughs> hey, stop that. You're going to make people think that it's not fun playing games with me. What's going on? <laughs> no, I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> I, I, I would just... I also love Lord of the Rings, so... I know. I know. I'm just... I'm just... Hey, Terrence, 
because he pre-ordered his set and it didn't show up before he left, doesn't get to play any of the new stuff until he gets back from Minnesota. So there's that. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, that just happened. I just made that up, by the way. That might not be true. He might <laughs> he he may have actually got it before he left. Uh, Terrence says, it's okay, you have Peter as a consolation prize. Boy, that's like the worst <laughs> consolation prize ever. Sorry, I'll get it for you. That is nice. like that is like saying you won ten million dollars or here's a shiny penny as a consolation prize. Like that doesn't seem like equivalent for some reason. Okay, uh, so then I'm going to use Titanium Muscles to play Steel Fist. That seems good. So we deal five damage, and then I'll drop one of my Tufts. Too stunned and um, confused. Which, by the way, seems real yeah. good since you're up and I'm down. I get to draw a card. Oh, this would have been nice to have a second well, ago if I were standing up. But, oh, and I will use organic steel um, to, to save give that myself tough. a tough again. Yep. Um, you could flip down. I just flipped up. You could not flip down, Mary. Why would you think <laughs> that you could do that? I try to tell you all the time. But no, I need this. I want to flip up. Well, too bad, Mary. You can't. You can't. Oh, don't forget you got this, by the way. Uh, yeah. I mean. Yeah. I think the next big attack I do, I'm going to use that. Well, yeah. Or if there's a minion out, obviously, for overkill. Yeah. For the overkill part about it. Um, but I just did two more damage. We should. Shadow Cat. Shadow Cat. Wow. <laughs> She's shadowy she's a cat all right we're <laughs> i don't know where i am i don't know what i'm doing i'm just i'm just here for the free liquor honestly all right are we uh we're drawing up yep oh i got psychic blast have you seen this one four damage to the villain if you have unleashed four damage to each minion engaged with you also which is not terrible. Uh, the only problem is, as you've seen, it's very hard for me to become unleashed. Like I, you a actively have to work at getting unleashed. Like I, I, I am no closer to being unleashed than I was at the very beginning of the game. In case you were wondering. Now, when uh, Cyclops goes down here, I do lose two counters from it. So, I guess technically I'm closer, but yeah, no, it, I'm not great at that whole unleashing thing. Um. All right, so let's add two threat, and then Cyclo or Sabretooth is uh, who's first player? Me, confused. And then you stunned. I mean, that seems not terrible. Ah, metamorphic mayhem. Mystique shape shifting makes her all manner of trouble. When defeated, the player who defeated this scheme shuffles each shapeshifter card from the encounter discard pile into their deck. That seems terrible. <laughs> I do still have that shapeshifter card. Actually, did I draw it yet? I don't think I've drawn it. It's still in here somewhere. How have I not gone through my deck yet? Is that possible? How do you yeah. only have three cards yeah. and I have 11? What's going on here? What, did um, I do? what am I doing wrong? I feel like I should have more than 11 cards. I did deck huh. once. I did deck once. I remember. Did I take the extra encounter card? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Oh, see, now Terrence is showing off. He said, I got to go hang out with Caleb. He forgot he had Cyclops and Phoenix coming out today. <laughs> uh, Thanks by for the... rubbing it in, Terrence. By the way, actually, <laughs> we are interviewing him Tuesday. Uh, <gasps> stay tuned live here. He will be. Um, we are interviewing him. Uh, Tuesday on the stream channel. So I totally keep forgetting to promote that. But yes, I am interviewing Caleb on Tuesday. Um, so if you have questions for Caleb, let me know, please. Uh, all right. So let's get back to the game now that I am totally lost <laughs> on what is going on in this game. Um, 
All right. I don't know. I did add two because there was so only we, two. Yeah, we added two there, and then he He's done. Um, was confused and stunned, and then we did. That's right. I got this, and you got yep. this, Pyro. Pyro, yep. After Pyro attacks you, discard the top two cards of your deck. Take one indirect damage for each printed resource icon on the card this way. All right. You know what? I'm keeping this metamorphic mayhem in there because I don't care, and I don't want to. I don't want bad things to happen to me, honestly. I don't care if they happen to you, Mary. I don't want them to happen to me. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Telekinetic shield, when you take any amount of damage, put it on here if there's at least five damage on it. So this is like a better tough, because if you take some wimpy hits, it doesn't really do anything, which is kind of nice. It's like five plus extra hit points. It's almost like an ally, because if you can get it to four, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. and then just take a big hit. Like, it chumps all that damage. So it's like a better tough. Um, I'm just trying to make myself feel good right now because I got jack all for other cards. Hey, look, I can add another power counter to my thing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, two counters. I'm sorry. Oh, I can remove one to ready myself. You know what? I played it wrong the first time, I think. Or no, I don't think I played it yet. So, no, we're good. I, I might use it to ready myself and do all of one damage to attack. <laughs> For no reason. Uh, all right, you are first player or am I? You are. Uh, I, I was just me. first player. Yeah. Yep. Go for it. Okay. So I'm going to search for an ally while you're doing your thing. Uh, let's see. And I'll heal too. Think. All right. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna do both Maid of Rage and Coup de Gras. By the way, this is the best comment of the year so far. Brant wins the internet tonight. Brant said, "Ah, I thought you meant you were interviewing Terrence." Instead of Caleb on Tuesday. Yes. I, I, I got this big interview coming out on Tuesday. It's going to be Terrence. <laughs> Everybody jump in. If you have any questions for Terrence, please like ask them. Oh, that would be awful. I mean, no, right. I love Terrence. Uh, yep. so. so. How much do you smash for? So that's going to be. Nine with overkill. Uh, yes, plus this other three, so 12. 12 with overkill, so that's four mm -hmm. and eight more on the boss. Seems good. You have the police then or, this uh, goes on away. your payroll, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm just throwing it up there. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, ooh, let's see. Oh, and you've got... Yeah, let's... Shadow. Have the police just kind of smack him in the face. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, uh, and I guess I will use this last counter on organic steel to give myself tough again. Oh, and I need to draw a card as well. Ooh. Professor X. So, Professor X is kind of like a worse, way worse Nick Fury. Uh, he can only thwart for three, which is good. Don't get me wrong. Uh, he can confuse the villain, stun a minion, or ready an X-Men character. That's probably the best option, is to, like, ready yourself. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, you... I mean, X-Jet, it's kind of late. It's yeah. Late, late for... So there's two... One all right uh so i will ready colossus and then yeah i guess he can just thwart the main scheme ah you don't want to thwart this disaster and and get those <laughs> cards to your to your hand would you have two cards uh... left in your deck well i don't even know if there are any because it's only five cards in the set i have one of them in my deck already so i don't even know if there are any uh shapeshifter card from the encounter deck i don't even i don't even know 
I mean, maybe. Uh, there's one. Shapeshifter? Oh, yeah. There it is. Shuffle this card into your deck. Two. There's only one in the discard, right? Nope, there's two. Oh. All right. So, yeah, get rid of this. Take this. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> All right, you do need to put a damage on uh, Professor X. So you said you're taking three off yep. of me? Yeah. Um, and then I'll use Shadow Cat to attack for another two. You hadn't taken it off yet, right? I did. Oh, you did take it off? Ah. Yeah. All right, um, you want to see something very disappointing? Well, and then I'm going to attack for three. Disappointing is I don't think I could do nine damage. <laughs> like that's disappointing. <laughs> Reduce the cost to some storm. Uh, interrupt when storm thwarts. Yeah, yeah. No, this is this is this is not good. All right, so I'm gonna flip up. I get a resource here, so I'm gonna use that resource, and we'll use this. Why not? to uh, do my Psychic Blast, which does four damage. I'm gonna attack for one. Ah. I'm gonna have Cyclops attack for two. Uh, come on, why is this counter not changing? Oh, you took the two off? All right. Yep. And uh, all right, I do have Storm, so I can do it. So reduce this cost by one. So I have to pay four. One, two, three, four to put Storm in. If I had one more resource, I could ready myself and do one more damage. I mean, there's that. Uh, all right. So we're going to have Storm come in and do two attack and finish off the Sabertooth. Now, Sabretooth was stunned and confused last turn, right? So, yeah, didn't get to heal up. Yeah. I'm going to claim my one damage was the final straw that broke the camel's back. Might not have been the last damage. It could have been if I had been smarter about how I doled out the damage. But, you know, my one damage really was, you know, to the turning point of the game there. We should have had the senator try to do a damage. Senator kills himself <laughs> trying to attack. Uh, that would not go well. That would not go well. <laughs> oh. All right. Um. All right. Uh, I was just reading Brant's comment. Sorry. All right. Let's go to the post stream discussion. <laughs> sorry. Uh. So Brant's comment. Uh. Sorry. I, I don't know what is going on here. My life is. Uh. All right. So let's transition. We got Mary in the fancy post stream discussion here. Uh, the new, uh, the fanciness, our new duds. Uh, all right. So, well done. Well done indeed. Thank you, Victor. Uh, so, we ended up finishing off Sabretooth. So, what are your thoughts on the new mutant stuff so far? No, remind me again. What have you had a chance to play? And uh, where are you at with the campaign? Um, I played Cyclops and Colossus, and I haven't been able to get into the campaign just yet. So um, you played Sabretooth, but not in campaign mode? You just... Just, yeah, I was just trying to play it, and I was playing him wrong for most of the day, so... Ah, well, no wonder you couldn't beat him. How many times did you end up playing him? Oh, let's see. Like maybe four or five times <laughs> oh wow all right yeah i was like i think three times through that i was like wait a sec i'm supposed to change out the scheme yeah that that can be frustrating when you are trying to play against the easiest villain in the box and you can't beat it <laughs> you'd be like uh what is going on here yeah i could see that being frustrating um so now that you played it the right way and honestly what i will say is that since I carried you through this game, um, <laughs> I'm so used to people thinking I'm the terrible one. Now, look, Mary can't beat Sabretooth on her own. She needed me to help her get through. We know that's not true. 
Um, so, so, uh, yes, no, that is, uh, yeah. So what do you think now that you've played Sabretooth the right way? What do you think about, uh, Sabretooth as a villain? Um, I think it was a really fun scenario. It, um, it definitely did some things a little bit different. So it wasn't, um, it wasn't like exactly the same as like some of the other ones that are the same formula they're still fun but they're still very much the same but um yeah this i think changed things up quite a bit especially with him being able to heal himself and then um having to hunt down senator kelly and get him out of harm's way yeah Um, i like this scenario a lot i think it is a hard intro scenario like of all the intro scenarios for the game, this is the one I'm least likely to show a new player just because there's so much that's different. Um, I mean, I thought uh, Ebony Maw was pretty different with his spell cards that he threw at you, but mm-hmm. this is definitely the most different. And it's not that it's a bad thing. I don't mind it being this different. Uh, I think it's mm-hmm. fairly challenging for an initial scenario. Um, we happened to have a good combination, I think. Like, I took care of threat, no problem. And you were, Mm -hmm. you were a huge damage dealer there. You were doing damage from turn one. You were stunning and confusing to stop him from healing. So I just think it was a good combo. Um, but it's not an easy scenario. And actually, we finished it fairly quickly, uh, an hour and a half. But I've certainly had games this take much longer than intro scenarios normally go as well. Yeah, I I was actually surprised how fast we got through. <laughs> I mean, you were you were doing tons of damage, and whenever I could do seven, <laughs> I I did. Um. But yeah, I, like the big thing um, with Colossus is when I was playing him earlier today, I never had a problem dealing damage. It was always threat control. He yeah. is not good at controlling threat at all. No, not even a little bit. Yeah, with his one thwart is, uh, yeah, it's very sad. Yeah, that yeah. that is the biggest problem. He's the well, I don't want to spoil my my playthroughs, I guess, but I did not I did not do well with him <laughs> in in the playthrough. <laughs> I thought I was doing well, and then the world came tumbling down. Yeah, I was saying Colossus is of the precon decks, at least the one I see with. The biggest weaknesses, um, I think he's very strong yeah. also, um, but I definitely see him having some weaknesses. Certainly a four-card hand size, although he's got a couple of things that can get over help him get over that. But I didn't get those cards till yeah. the very end of the deck. I didn't even know they were in there uh, when I was playing with him. So I think that can be a weakness. I think the bigger weakness, yeah. though, is plink damage or and, and piercing. Like, he does not want to yeah. see five minions in front of himself because first of all he doesn't have a good way to do damage to multiple targets um and then secondly yeah. you know anything that's plinking off tufts it's not like tough is an optional thing like oh i only took one damage now nah, i won't get rid of my tough no if you get hit that tough is gone um yeah yeah so i found that difficult um and of course one thwart with you know not fantastic thwarting cards i mean they're fine they're fine they're just not like you got two of them in your entire deck like there's a lot more game that gets played yeah than two thwart cards worth of uh worth of uh threat removal yeah um hard to ignore would probably be really good in a deck with him because i didn't take any damage the entire game yep yeah uh brant says colossus precon is pretty rough the synergy is very thin i agree I agree. Of the precons, it is the weakest, I think. Um, I mean, and it's still super strong. Don't get me wrong. I was flying through my playthrough, as you said, taking no damage the mm-hmm. entire time, but threat just kept building up, and I'm like, I have literally no way to deal with this. I just kind of try to damage stuff as fast as possible. Um, so Yeah, what, but like with compared to cyclops was the only other one that i've played so far where threat wasn't a problem at all well yeah and as you've seen with phoenix it's not a problem three thwart from the beginning 
yeah pretty, pretty good but at the same time i wasn't doing as much damage so yeah with cyclops i really yeah. like cyclops he is interesting he is the most thinky of the characters of the precons i will say um phoenix has a, an interesting shtick like you can certainly get rid of those counters way faster than i did um there are definitely ways to do it to get those counters pretty low pretty quickly i mean you're flirting with disaster so have you seen what comes <laughs> out have you seen dark phoenix i have yeah i the dark phoenix and then her um yeah consume that, the world uh, so dark phoenix, phoenix, yes yeah yeah so dark phoenix you can get from her obligation if you are on your alter ego side but it's a mm -hmm. cosmic entity elite 12 life 2-2 two -two. steady toughness villainous by the way so gets a boost card <laughs> for all her attacks and schemes when dark phoenix schemes you don't place it on the main scheme that's fine you place it on consume the world over here um, and when she's revealed, by the way, you search the encounter deck, discard pile, and set aside area for Consume the World. So when you bring her in, she brings in Consume the World as well. This is permanent. You cannot get rid of Consume the World. By the way, starts with six thread on it. While there's no thread on here, you lose the boost icon. Great. Thanks. By the way, boost icon works on Dark Phoenix also because Villainous, wonderful. All right. After thread is placed here, if there's at least 12 thread here, the players lose the game. God, by the way, and you can't get rid of it. It's just another scheme. Now, there is no way to add scheme here except for cards that are like add four scheme to each side scheme or whatever. Um, and Dark Phoenix herself as she schemes. But 12 health, by the way, and six threat all at once. 18 points of threat and health coming on the board at the same time. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> that is <laughs> no bueno is what that is. Uh, so Brent says psychic manipulation in a Phoenix deck is just, yeah, or is top justice card and maybe top card of the in, oh, card in the game. Uh, remind me, do you know what psychic manipulation does? Um, the, isn't that the one where when the villain schemes, he instead takes threat off of the main scheme? Oh yeah. Yeah. Is that the, the three cost one? That new card, that yeah, new justice I, card, it, yeah, that card, so, yeah, that card is so so good. Yeah, psychic manipulation. Play only if you have a, a psionic trait, by the way. So that's we're making more uh, mystics, basically. So this is the new <laughs> mystic uh, trait. Uh, when the villain schemes, this uh, activation removes threat instead of placing it. I mean, it's silly. That is so ridiculous for three cost. I mean, it just breaks some scenarios wide open. It's like, uh, oh. and, and so yeah, it's the first card that's not protection that I'm aware of, at least. That's like, you can play when it's not your turn. When you could play out of, it, it's the only interrupt that I'm aware of. I, no, I guess there's some where you can uh, drop heroes down and stuff. Well, there's foiled. Which is also a justice card. Um, I know there there are other ones. Foiled is one of my favorite justice cards. <laughs> Which one's that one? Uh, that's the one where uh, when the villain schemes. Uh, you don't count the boosts. Oh the, yeah, that's a good one on the card. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, the uh, what are those called? I always forget what uh, Black Widow's cards are called. Not protection. They're uh, oh, um, like the preparations. Preparation. Yeah, the one that ignores all the boosts from an attack and then slings them back as damage to the villain. That is one of my favorite um, preparation cards. I mean, grappling hooks obviously the best. Yeah. It's like just oh yeah, oh, yeah, no, yeah. That, you get a terrible <laughs> treasure. You get shadows of the past. Nope, just kidding. No, you don't. Oh, uh, Steve's on. Hey, Steve. 
Yep. So we got Steve from uh, Play the Game. We got Brant from Step Into the Portal. So yeah, it's a Marvel Champions Night. So I have played all four of the new heroes so far. I think Phoenix is my favorite. I, I do think she's super powerful. Uh, no question about it. Um, Kitty Hawk might be my next favorite. Just because she has a dragon, let's be honest. I mean, she should probably be my favorite. Um, she has some neat stuff. So if you haven't played with her, she um, she can do things, as we've seen, like ignore um, the exclamation, the hazard symbol. Mm-hmm. But she has cards that are permanents that she puts in front of her that says if you ignore a hazard symbol and you thwart the main scheme, you can remove threat mm-hmm. from the hazard symbol as well. Like, so from that side scheme, while you're removing it from the main scheme. Same if she ignores guard or whatever. So she's situational, obviously, if there's no hazards or side schemes or whatever. I mean, she's still good because she defends for basically 100% of the damage. And she has a free resource that she starts with at the beginning of their game because her solid state lets her uh, get a free fist, I think, for an attack event. So, I mean... She's not bad anyway. Her kit's still pretty good, even without that. But it's just kind of fun to, like, sneak by stuff and kill stuff. And did I mention she has a dragon? (laughs) So, uh, but Cyclops is super fun, too, because he does something very different. First of all, he can have any X-Men ally, which I think is kind of a neat way to... um, To deal with, like, the Guardians of the Galaxy thing. Like, Guardians of the Galaxy yeah. works, like, where Star-Lord makes everybody a Guardian. It works in that theme because, honestly, they did just recruit everybody to the Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, they don't really care. Um, but for X-Men, it wouldn't really work, right? You're not going to get yeah. Gamora, and she's not going to turn into an X-Man. Like, you know, it, it just <laughs> doesn't make sense. Um, but for him to be able to play X-Men of any aspect is kind of cool. It shows like a neat leadership, like, Hey, everybody will come work for me regardless of, you know, what their thoughts are or with me at least. Um, and then his tactic thing, I mentioned this when I did the video and actually it hasn't gone up yet. So I guess I shouldn't spoil too much, but it's weird. So you've, you played with him, right? Yep. So he has these tactics cards that he puts out on villain. He can put out on the villain. He can put out on minions. It goes away at the end of the turn, but, like, he can do things if they've got these tactics cards on them. And they're usually free or one cost to put out, so they're not that expensive. Um, but it'll let you do things like blast with your optical beam and stuff like that. That You can't do that unless they've got one of these tactics cards. The big thing I worry about is it becomes a big percentage of what his deck is. So I feel like, kind of like Black Widow... If they don't add more of those tactics cards in, his decks are going to get a little bit stale. Did you have a thought on that, or? Um. Yeah. So. Because like we haven't I... seen a new preparation card forever, right? For Black Widow, so like, I mean. Yeah, it has get... been a while for those. Yeah. I mean, I don't know that any have come out after her deck, did they? Um, I can't think of any off the top of my head. Yeah, so, like, that's the only problem. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love when they do cool things, like make these cards that are, you know, very specific to a hero or whatever else, give them their own shtick. And I will say every hero of these four feels so different from any other hero we've seen Mm -hmm. that it's amazing to me, like, as a game designer, that they can keep coming up with all these new innovative things and really make them feel unique and feel powerful. All of them. Yeah. But I do worry that sometimes like when you have a shtick that's so niche that like you, you, the deck may start, you know, all their decks may start to look the same because it's like, well, I know I'm going to put in all these, you know, cards when I'm with this aspect. So I don't know. That's the only thing that bothers that, that not bothers me. That worries me. I hope we get more tactics. Yeah. Oh, well, let's see. Um, well, Steve pointed out um, anticipation. That it's in protection. Yep. And uh, lie in wait, which that's an aggression one. 
Yep. Yeah, so you have some for each aspect. But I just want more, you know? Like, I don't want to have to, every time I build it, build with the same ones, I guess. Yeah. And I'd, I'd imagine going forward, there are going to be more heroes that use, you know, tactics um, or, like, with Nebula techniques um, or preparations, like, with Black Widow. Um, I don't think that we won't ever see those again. Right. Um, it's just, I guess, waiting on when the next hero comes out that actually uses those particular things. And maybe I'll ask Caleb and... about it on Tuesday. Hey, when are we getting more uh, preparation <laughs> cards? What's going on? What's going on, Caleb? I'm going to ambush him. Like, I'm going to ask him only yeah. questions about Black Widow the entire time. <laughs> Just hold his feet to the fire about Black Widow. <laughs> yes. I, I I think he didn't even have anything to do with her design, but that's fine. When, when are we getting more preparation cards, Ter- or Terrence? Uh, Caleb, what's going on? So what's the over-under on how many times I call Caleb Terrence on Tuesday? Hmm? Sorry. What's the over-under on how many times I call Caleb Terrence on Tuesday? Oh, Wow. Uh, I'm going to say at least four times. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so I don't know. That was fun. I, I certainly enjoy playing these new heroes, and I certainly enjoy... I, I'm, I'm super excited to get into the campaign, because honestly, this is as far into the campaign as I've seen. Uh, I'm not reading the, you know, post-mortem for the campaign because I haven't played it yet and I want to play it uh, with my wife first so I get the kind of joy of experiencing it with her but she better hurry up because we need to get at least one mission done by next Friday so we can play again oh yeah because are we doing Sentinels next weekend is that the next mission see I don't even know spoiler alert (laughs) (laughs) Um, yeah so I wonder uh yeah, I mean, we'll do Sentinels. I mean, you're more than welcome to join us. It could be you, me, and uh, Terrence. I know Brent said he was out of town. We were talking about doing four at first. But honestly, four-player games are long. Our games are long typically anyway, and I tend to talk a lot, which I know is a shock to everyone out there. But, uh, yeah, so maybe what we'll do is just do the three of us next week. You and I can continue with our characters. We'll we'll deck build next week, um, and maybe we'll just introduce Terrence in at the second mission okay cool all right well thank you so much for joining us and uh thank you all out there for joining us as well this was a blast um terrence stay as long as you need to we've got a new co-host um (laughs) mary definitely brings fire every time she comes so uh yeah no she carried me this game kind of like uh i carry you terrence like that that's that's where we're at All right, everybody. Well, thanks for joining us. Thanks again, Mary, and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye.